Hey everyone, it's Nancy with She's Got Yarn. I hope everybody's doing well this evening. I wanted to share a few things with you tonight, especially before I go on vacation. Um, my vacation starts on Friday and I won't be back until probably, I don't know, the 17th when I do, I have a giveaway and I'm gonna pick, or the comment picker is gonna pick a winner for my uh, 1K winner. And they're gonna win special dyed yarn from Paul Ply Yarn Company, whoever the winner is. So let me go ahead and let me share what little bit I've got with, a um, little bit I've got of yarn and I've got some whips. Um, I got a little bit of everything um, this evening. So, and I'm wearing my new glasses. Um, they're tweaking my prescription with, I got two pairs, so they sent this pair home tweak the other prescription if if it works they're gonna they're gonna fix this pair but yeah I'm I'm struggling to see um, with my new glasses like out on the highway and uh, it's one of the reasons I got them but I do wear contacts and I see well with the contacts um, it may just be progressive lenses I'm seeing colors and they think that's really strange like everything white has an ombre yellow to it it's weird like looking at my face, my teeth have a yellow tint at the bottom and kind of gets lighter as it goes up the, the teeth. It's weird, I'm seeing colors um, and white. White is yellow and like dark hair. I have like a blue halo and it's the prescription. I'm not losing my mind. And actually, my lips have a blue outline. <laughs> this is crazy. I'm ready to put my contacts back in. <laughs> I need to stop looking at my face and start showing you guys yarn. All right. I was at the Dollar Tree today. I want to share with you what I got. I'm going to, I want to make this quick. So I'm not going to go in great detail, but I'm going to show you all the colors I got. I got cotton yarn today. They had a, a full box. Now look at these colors. I've never seen these colors before in cotton. This is like a, oh, where's, where's the camera? Whoop. Yeah, there's the true color. It's like almost like a sand color. It, it, it borders on being a little bit tweed, but it, I don't know. It's got more than just a cream color in it. There's there's a tint a tint something else wound in it. The color is mist. But can you I don't know if you can see what I see. But I think it's pretty. And I got six of these. I got I don't even think I have this color. 104 yards to number four and it is um, cotton and there's two things in it where it's that I saw it earlier 85% cotton and 15% polyester but yeah and it's pretty soft and it's got kind of a little bit of a shine to it so it's a nice yarn it's premier and then we've got amber. Oh, I didn't tell you the color of this one. What's the color? Hibiscus is this color. And then amber. I've never seen a mustardy looking color um, at the Dollar, whoop, the Dollar Tree. So, yeah, this is really nice yarn. And then this color is sky blue, but it also, um, it's not just blue, it's got like, there's like another tint of blue, a lighter tint, but yeah, nice yarn. But yep, I got a bunch of it, and I had a ball band break, and I broke out my yarn, um, I mean, my tape. Dollar Tree Special. I think of Ross. It smells like yarn guy. But yeah. Oh, there's one color I almost missed. Olive. Let's see what color it is. 
dark. This is dark khaki. Khaki's tan. It's not green. I may be wrong, but. <laughs> but yeah, it's got kind of a, a shine to it. It's nice yarn. And I got like six of everything. And uh, wait, I got one more color over here. Now I got two more colors. I thought I grabbed them all. Darn. Okay. I got oil blue. Here. See that? It's like. It's a real pretty yarn. I'm not kidding. And this. And this is dried rose. Very pretty. All right. I think maybe that's it. I had all the colors together and I, uh, I mixed them up. I didn't need to. They didn't have any white. Uh, it looked like everything was in the case of yarn I bought. Except white, and it may not have had white, you know, I don't know. It seemed like there might have been one color missing. There was like a blank aisle, um, row in the box. So, I'm just getting the rest of it, and I'm going to put it in one of my baskets. of many um, just yarn from Dollar Tree. Okay, I think I got everything. Oh, no, there's three more here. So, that's everything. But yeah, I saw the colors and I'm like, okay, I can't walk away from this. But, so, make a lot of washcloths. So, okay, I got those in a container. They're safely put away. I just have to put them on the shelf. I'm going to have to get some more shelves. My cubbies are all filled up. I did open some cubbies up. I got rid of some of um, the uh, UFOs. I uh, frogged them and uh, made some room. Okay. Then I went to Michael's today. After my doctor's appointment, my eye appointment, I stopped by Joanne's first. And uh, I'll show you what I got. No, that's Michael's. Where's my Joanne's side? Oh, here's my Joanne's side. I didn't get a lot from Joanne's. All I got was some cotton. Um. at eight minutes okay um i don't know if you guys remember i ran out of the moroccan night oh, oh i got three this weekend from joanne's I, and um that's all they had was three and uh, they had a bunch more today so i grabbed two more and here it is okay it is 273 yards 3.5 ounces 100 grams 250 meters and number three and with my glasses i still can't see it's too small they have those hook sizes too small but anyway so i've got i think three four five i got five of these so I'm happy I found this. I was hoping I would find it. And then the other day I got that mint cotton. And I thought this would look good. I got three for nine dollars. And this is the large ones. I don't know if that's a deal, y'all. Um, the color's coral rose. And the size is a large, it's super size is what it says. It's a number four, but um, how many yards? 190 yards. It's almost 200 yards. So. 
but I thought that color was really pretty. And I keep saying I'm not gonna buy any more cotton, but I can't walk away from these sales. You know? Okay. Then I went to Michael's, because I hadn't been to Michael's in a while. It's been, it's been about three, three or four weeks. I don't know exactly. Maybe not. But it's been three or four weeks since I bought anything from Michael's, maybe. But um, I found this Red Heart Soft Essentials. Now, the yarn I'm about to show you, um, it was they were $3 to, from $3 to $1, okay? And um, so I thought, look at this, Essential, Soft Essential Red Heart. This is very soft. I would love to make a sweater out of it, or a cardigan. I don't know. I, I've always called what the yarn community calls cardigans. I've always called them sweaters, a button down sweater, but um, so I still um, say that occasionally. But uh, yeah, I've, I call them cardigans too because y'all do. So I don't know. Maybe it's what I say is something that is just normal in my area in South Florida. Well, I'm not in South Florida, I'm in North Central Florida. So I don't know. But this cotton is, I mean, cotton, this yarn is very soft. It's very beautiful. It's very shiny. It's a number five. Um, it's a six, it takes a six and a half millimeter crochet hook and it takes a six meter knitting needle. And the colorway is called Biscuit. Isn't that pretty? I think it's beautiful. It's kind of a, a tan, but it's got, um, almost a champagne shimmer to it very faded champagne shimmer but yeah I could squish this all day <laughs> but I got uh, I need to get organized I'll be right back sorry check that out all it is is a green no it's v-stitch it's a v-stitch and I just did two panels in the front and one in the back, connected them. But the reason I didn't finish this, it's one of those whips I abandoned, is the bottom. The bottom kind of like flares out. Let me see if you, can, if you guys can see what I did. Now this is early on in learning how to crochet. You see that, how it flares out? I didn't, I don't know. I was trying to add something to make it pop and it I don't know I don't like the way it drapes I think it doesn't drape properly so I was gonna whip that uh, rip whip <laughs> rip the bottom out and start over um, I used a greeny stitch that might be the problem I used a different stitch and I might have used a bigger a bigger yarn now that I think about it you know, I'm learning, you know, what could cause this and what could cause that. And I think, I think that was the problem. And, um, yeah, but I'm going to, you know, I'm working on all of these, um, these whips. And, yeah, I'm going to have to frog some of this and uh, fix it. But, yeah, getting back to similar. I wonder if it works up like this because I really liked how this worked up. Look, I did no color control. Check that out. I think it turned out really, you know, considering Nancy's first wearable ever. It wasn't my first, but it was early on in my yarn career. <laughs> But yeah, I got a bunch of this. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I got eight of these babies. And they're 100, I think they're 141 <gasps> yards in a scheme. So I got yarn everywhere. <sighs> okay, last color, you guys. I normally wouldn't buy something like this, but. I've been eyeballing it for a long time and it was on sale like $3.99. Can you guess?
Cabernet. <laughs> Sheepy. Oh my goodness. It's so soft. And it was so cheap. <laughs> oh. And let's read the specs. It's a number six. Little, little critters is what it says. Um, it takes an eight millimeter crochet hook, an eight millimeter knitting needle. Could you imagine knitting with that? I don't know. I've never knitted, but, <laughs> um, a hundred percent nylon and it's 149 yards. That's a lot of yardage in this, but I got one, two, eh. I this thing. I'm fixing to throw it away because it keeps catching on my yarn, but, um, yeah. I, I was thinking I could use this to trim out cardigans. Um, what do you think? I have fur too, but can you see? It is so soft. So it's, it's soft, like in a different way than fur. It's like cotton, I know. Cotton isn't real soft sometimes. This is incredibly soft. It's like baby bottom soft. More so. Yeah, it's beautiful. Anyways, they only had cream, like a cream color. Um, what are they calling it? Cottontail. Oh! Cottontail. Hmm. Who knows? We'll figure it out. If it's meant to happen, whatever happens is meant to happen, you know? But, um, yep. I'm running out of baskets to put my stuff. I'm trying to avoid putting it in a box. But I want to show you guys my whips. Uh, one thing I didn't show you, and I buried them. I got some more of this baby rainbow. And, um, this is those, they have 503 yards. These were $3.99. And uh, this stuff is so soft. And I've got it in. I buried it. Bummer. Hold on. I guess I'm going to have to put this stuff in a box. Just momentarily. Just until I get organized. I always manage to get organized. Because my cubbies look full. But sometimes there's holes in the back. You know? Air holes. And, um. I can put these in the color coordinated cubby that they belong in, but I do need to get some more cubbies. I think I'm going to make a yarn wall in this room. This is the dog's room, and I don't have a yarn wall. I have, um, I'll show you. Don't look at my mess. It's really messy. Really messy. But you guys have seen that on the other video. You see where I keep all the yarn? I have like a little row of yarn. And I don't have any other, like, walls full of yarn. I've got little baskets to decorate with yarn, and I've got my roll-top desk, and I have mandalas in little tiny miniature crates. But, um, yeah, I want to do a yarn, a, 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 I can't talk, yarn wall in here, and I'm not sure where I'm going to do it. I would like to get some, some shelves made, but if not, I'm going to buy the cubbies that I have in my yarn room and in here they all match um i don't know well i'll figure it out so but uh getting back to the yarn i didn't show you i don't think i showed you this this is um light aqua i apologize if i did show it to you but i don't remember showing it to you guys i'm losing my memory <sighs> y'all Y'all still love me if I lose my mind. <laughs> Put me in a nursing home and give me a iPad and my yarn. And I'll be happy. But this is everything I got. So I got five of the mint and two of the gray. I love this yarn and I have a bunch of it in my stash. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. I've made one cardigan out of this. And that was, I think, the March calendar. Um, I made uh, those little motifs. I made little blue motifs with like a daisy in the middle. And I uh, I did like what Pamela Doran Crochet did. But I did 
across the back, just like right across the back with the motifs. And then I did some in the front. And um, I had Dallas, my, uh, my housekeeper slash dog sitter, slash do anything I need her to do. <laughs> um, she wanted it. I gave it to her. And then her mom wanted me to make her one, but that will be a while because I got a lot of stuff. And I was going to show you my whip, but this video is getting kind of long. I might have to make two separate videos. Um, hang on one sec. Okay, real quick. This is a whip that um, I'm using Heartland by Lion Brand, and the color is Redwood. I love this kind of yarn. But anyways, this is the, the cardigan that I was, I made too wide, so I decided to um, turn it sideways. So now it's a back panel. Let me see if you can move my chair. In this gigantic box. All right, here is the back panel. Let's see. It's like this. I'll show you how it's going to work out. No? Yeah. Yeah, no. This is going to be the sleeve. I'm working on the sleeve. That's the back panel. Here's the other front panel. But once we connect them, you know, I mean, it's, it's long. Uh, but yeah, I'm building the sleeve in, and this is Pamela's, this is her pattern, but I modified it because I turned it, it went from sideways, I turned it upways, because I didn't want to frog this. So, but anyways, um, I'm hoping I will finish it this week, and then I want to trim it either with this, this is cream, or... What did I do with that white yarn? It's probably in the bottom here. I have this yarn in white. This has got a little bit of gray tint in it, but I have it in white, white. So what, what do you think? Fur or bunny tail? Cotton tail. And I'll show you what they look like. I got the white, the pure white that's furry, and this is like fluffy. It's like sheepy and furry. So which one would, should I trim this out with? And I'm also going to do a hood. I'm going to do a hood trimmed in this white fur. I've already got that almost done. The, uh, uh, I think I probably should have attached it, but I didn't. But yeah, I'm almost done with this. This is gonna be the hood. I'm gonna um, connect it at the back of the neck. Back of the neck. And then sew the top. Sew the top and then put the fur all the way around, kind of like that. Hopefully, I'm not confusing you. Anyways. Um, then, hang on a second. Oh, I got this giant box. So I can sit down. Boy, I make a mess every time I do a video. Alright, the next cardigan. This is finished. This is how it's supposed to be. This is by Pamela Adoring Crochet. Um, now this part is just chain two, single crochet, chain two, single crochet. I did it, I, I don't know, I like this stitch. I'm really into this stitch as a trim right now. It's my style right now. But yep, this turned out really nice. And um, I used I don't 
don't know if I have any more skeins, but this is the yarn that I used, Bernay Softy Cotton, and I used it in, I don't know what the color is right off the top of my head, shame on me, but I don't. If I have a skein, it's in my yarn room. But anyways, yep, so I've got one finished object. I got one more finished object to finish so I can start a new project. <laughs> That's the new thing. I got to finish two in order to start a new one. So, but yeah, so I love this car. I love this yarn. I love working with this yarn. And this pattern is really easy. You just got to pay attention to the width or you can make it too big. And I wasn't paying attention. My life story. But, um, yep. And then, been working on this whip. I had already made it. This is um, um, TL Crafts. It's her... Um, cloth stitch. It's a cloth stitch pattern, but, um, yeah, I've been using, um, a little, whatever acrylic I have, number four acrylic on this. Um, this seems softer than this, but, um, yeah, like, um, that, this color I'm on, this is just, uh, a mystery box remnants. I got it really inexpensive, but yeah, so I was trying to use that up. So this is another whip, and um, I think I've got like five colors I'm supposed to use, and um, I'm str I struggle with colors, but um, so far, so good. You know what I did to figure out a color? I looked at some of my mandala yarn to see what colors were in it, and that's how I did it, because I couldn't figure it out. Because I ripped, I know I put a color in here and I ripped it out because I didn't like the way it looked. So then I went and I um, just looked at mandala yarn, real bright colors, and uh, see what yarns were like, categories they were in, colors close to this, and that's how I um, figured out the, col the color, coordinated the color. So, and I, I'm starting to wonder if I'm colorblind by the color that the, the eye doctor is like really concerned about. You know, she's like, that's weird you see in color. She's thinking it's the frame from the glasses, but this pair's doing it too. So, my lips are blue. I can see an odd color. It's weird. So, that's it. Um, I, I'm going to try to leave everybody in the link below. The blanket, um, the designer for the blanket, the designer for the cardigan, um, and... The red one is a designer by me and Pamela. <laughs> but that's the pattern. The famous summer cardigan. She is rocking right now with patterns. Doll patterns, baby doll patterns. Ah, oh, Pamela, I love you. You just amaze me. And, um... I want to show you one more thing. I'm hoping I don't have to cut this out. I bought these hooks. They're tulips. I use clovers, but I thought I would try tulips. I got these. I got a, I got a good deal on them. I, got, I bought some clovers, and they were knockoffs. They were fake. So they gave me my money back. They told me I could keep the hooks. So I have the fake hooks, and I bought tulips. I was afraid to buy the clover, and I'm sure that hurt clover's pocketbook by um, these people. I hope they go after them. They probably won't. But, uh, yeah. I hate to say this. I love clovers, but these things slide yarn like butter. It is... It's like a knife in butter. I, I... If you love clovers, you're gonna really love these, and I can't put them down. Isn't that crazy? And I love clovers, but I can tell the difference now. And I'm like, nah, I want, I, want, <laughs> I want my new one. I just wish they made these a little bit longer. I don't understand why they can't make the hooks, you know? I mean, they make so many hooks. Why can't they make this hook longer? A set, short set, 
a long set, a medium long set, and whatever sells, they can, can continue making it. I don't understand that. I don't understand the concept, but that's me. <laughs> All right, but anyways, I love them. They're tulips. Okay, and then I bought a bunch of these and I got the idea from Dina, Homespun. Dina with homespun fun, I think. But uh, these, this is great because you can write on this with a dryer, um, the dry erase pen markers. And um, so you don't have to write on your patterns because I have a few patterns in here. I can't start them until I finish another project. But uh, anyways, that's it for this evening, I think so far. And I got, and I got a, a mess around me. <laughs> But that's okay. You guys are worth it. I love you all. Go to my other video, my 1K um, subscriber video. It's a giveaway. It's an awesome giveaway. Um, you don't want to miss it. And um, again, I want to say goodnight to y'all. If I don't see you before um, July 13th, y'all have a happy 4th of July. Be safe. And just know that I adore every one of my subscribers. Thank y'all. Bye. Mwah.